Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a viewer question. Hey, today I've got a viewer question. That's right, uh, someone had posted in the comments below, viewer question, I thought it was pretty good. I wanted to pass along my answer to everybody. And so, hey, if you've ever got a question and I think it's a good one, who knows? Maybe it might make its way into a video. Uh, the question for this week is from Dark Inertia 2 and he commented on the blue white lions from David Blaine. And this is his question. He says, this is one of my favorite decks ever. Yeah. Uh, I've had it for a while now from a Black Friday sale when they were released but never used them and they are one of the few decks that feel as good as other decks he lists like Watermelons, Winds, etc. Does anyone know of any deck that has this same feel but is more of a commonly produced deck? I love Casino B stock. All right, so Dark Inertia 2, thanks for your question. That is a great question uh, and it's really twofold. I mean, on the one hand, you're asking if there's another deck similar to the White Lions and uh, if it's a more commonly produced deck because that would be the deck you'd like to use. And I'm glad you recognize that David Blaine pretty much puts out decks using casino grade stock. If I've ever said in the past that David Blaine's decks are retail stock, I was wrong. I would argue that all of his decks are on the thicker side. And just to show you, I used a caliper on all my Blaine decks today. Uh, here's a video of all of those and they'll just play while I talk. Um, you're going to notice that all of the cards range from 2.87 millimeters to 3.04 millimeters okay so this is a stack of 10 cards that i'm measuring to see how thick they are in comparison to other decks that i have in my collection what i'm finding is david blaine uh, decks always run on the higher end in fact um, some of his decks are the thickest decks i own okay so really once you hit uh, the 2.9s and the 3.0s you're really in a b uh, casino grade stock and so that's where you're going to find a lot of david blaine's uh, cards. So again, I can't really tell you how the decks feel because feeling is subjective, okay? I can tell you how thick they are compared to other thickness of decks, if that makes sense. Okay, so the crown deck from Blue Crown is a very similar thickness. However, they're sold out pretty much everywhere, um, but that would be a great deck that I would recommend if you can find it on eBay. Uh, the Arcana deck that came out um, on Kickstarter, that's around the same thickness too. Um, you can go to Penguin Magic and look and see if you can find their honeybees. Uh, so their honeybees uh, are around that same thickness as well. Illusionist, their blood kings are around that same thickness. Okay, the Daniel Madison blood kings, same thickness. And I think that would be probably the best deck equivalent or head on down to Art of Play and pick up uh, Dan and Dave's camp cards. The camp cards are also in that same thickness as well. But again, to find a deck that's the like same thickness and same feel, that would probably be pretty difficult. And uh, the other reason is because, rumor has it, word on the street is the, the playing card street. <laughs> is it. Um, David Blaine has a lot of pull with the United States Playing Card Company. And so the rumor is, and this is just a rumor, can't confirm it, okay? Don't take my word for it. The rumor is that David Blaine is able to get his own paper stock for some of his decks. Some of his decks, say like just off the top of my head, the Silver Split Spades, they have an incredible feel to them and have not compared to any other deck that has come out from USPCC. And so the rumor is that, that he's able to use his own paper stock, that he's actually able to replace the paper stock that USPCC usually uses um, with a paper stock that he prefers. But that could all be rumor, okay? But that, but that is the rumor, all right? So those are my best guesses for a deck that would be close enough to the, the White Lions or the Blue White Lions. It would be the Blood Kings from Illusionists or the Camp Cards from Art of Play, Dan and Dave, uh, Crown Deck from the Blue Crown, uh, Arcana from Kickstarter, and um, the Penguin Honeybees from Penguin Magic. All right, so that is my answer for Dark Inertia 2 concerning the thickness and feel of the White Lions. And if you have a question and you put it in the comments below, who knows, maybe it'll end up in one of these videos. Hey, and thanks for your views. Thank you for your subscriptions and thank you for your support. As always, if you want more, you can always head on down to magicorthodoxy.com for more content. Bye.